Yeah, Mark and Whitney, Ferris, Deer Park, and even Cheney Middle School just a couple of weeks ago. Student safety, of course, is the main goal, but what exactly happens during these investigations while police and the schools work to find the responsible students? Ferris and Deer Park High Schools involved threats over social media, and with Cheney, there was a note on a stall in the girls' bathroom. The process of dealing with these threats starts with school leaders deciding if they need to contact police. They also send out an email or voicemail alert to parents. In the case of the Ferris High School threat on Sunday, the determination was we need to involve Spokane police and so we did that right away. Depending on the severity of the threat, like if it's directed at specific students or clearly has violent intent, the schools will call on campus security from other schools or also have police do patrols in and outside of buildings. There's a lot of time and resource that goes into responding to each and every one of these. Police and school staff then analyze the threat to determine their response. Sometimes we get reports of, from song lyrics, for example, and, and so knowing the difference between the song lyrics or, or something that's um, not threatening and threatening is the first determination that's made. Breaking apart any key words or direct threats to other students. Sometimes there, there's slang in there or other types of things. What the intent is, what the, the history and context is behind these posts so that we can act accordingly. Now, typically, police are able to find the responsible students, and depending on the severity of the threat, they could either be expelled or receive time in juvenile detention. In Spokane, Shana Walltower, Crime 2 News.